Weebly free website tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Weebly to create a website for free. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you will open up Weebly.com and you will land on this platform right here. Weebly is a famous e-commerce by Square. It allows you to create your own website for free and sell products as well. With Weebly, we will be able to create a professional website that grows our business. In order to get started with Weebly, you will have to sign up. So you can click on the sign up button right here. In order to sign up, you have to enter your first name, last name, email address, confirm your email address, create a password, and that's it. You will be able to sign up for Weebly. After the sign up, it will give you your own dashboard. And here we will be able to create a website. We can also check our orders for our stores. We have fulfillments and we have marketing options available and settings. So you have to click on websites right here and create a new website. If you already have some websites, you can click right here and then we have the add site option. Now let's get started with our own store. I just need a website. I need a website with an online store. So let's go ahead and create a free website right here. And here we have to select a theme. With Weebly, we get a lot of different themes. We have business, portfolio, personal, event, blog, coming soon website, and other. So let's create a business website. We can scroll down to explore between thousands of different themes available on Weebly. I will select this theme right here. We can also get a theme preview. This looks impressive. So let's click on start editing. Now we have to select a domain name. We can also connect or transfer our domain or search for a new domain name. And now we are inside our Weebly editor. So you can see this is the editor of Weebly. Weebly gives us a very impressive editor with a lot of different options and tools. At the top right here, we have build. Then we have pages where I will be able to create different pages for my website. We have theme, apps, settings, and help. Then we also have a preview available in desktop and mobile. So I'm going to click on build right here. Within build, we can add different sections to the website. It's a simple drag and drop. We have different elements, title, text, images, gallery, slideshow, buttons, categories, social icons, products, embed code, search box, YouTube, audio, flash, Google Addisons, and more. Then we have pages. So let's create a new page. We can see that we have home, menu, local, and context right now uh, that was given with the theme. I'm going to create another page and it's going to be a standard page or I can select a blog page, category page, a product page, external or more. So I'm going to go with a standard page and give it a name. This is a about us page. Click on enter and a new page will be created. So this page is blank and I'll be able to, of course, add everything. We also have our header type. We can go with no header, splash or header here. We have visibility and SEO settings for the new page that we have created. Click on done and the page will be added right here. Click on these three dots and you will be able to again edit the page. We can also move the uh, position of the page right here. We can copy it or we can delete it. Let's get back to build. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the home page. This is the home page that we have for the website. Of course, I will customize the theme. How to do that? First of all, we can click right here on the header. With Weebly, we cannot do much with the header. We have the off text and logo option. So here I will be able to upload the logo. Then we have the text. Select the text right here and change it. We have a restaurant known as Foodies Corner. So that's what the name is going to be for the website. And now we have a button right here that I can customize. We have button text, button style, position, link, and spacing. We can also get rid of any element within our page. You just have to select the element and click on delete. In order to edit the background, you can select the background right here and you will be able to edit it out. Click on edit background and we can change the image. We can also select a color gradient or a video. We also have edit option, advanced and scrolling effect. If you want to add an image and text to a section, so you can click on text 
or drag and drop it and it will be added. So now the text has been added right here and I can add whatever I want. Similarly, we have the image. So I'm going to drag and drop the image from here. Click on upload and you'll be able to upload from your computer or you can get the image from the URL. If you want to add a video, again, simple drag and drop. If you want to add a divider, then you'll simply drag the divider and place it wherever you want it to be. Then we have a spacer. If you feel like you need a space between a text or a section, you can go ahead and add a space. Then we have social icons that we can add in the header or in the footer. And then we have buttons. It's a simple drag and drop for the button as well. This is the button. Click on the button text and change it. This is going to be the button text. Then we have the button style. Different types of buttons are available. Then we have position, so I'm going to make it centered aligned. Click on the link and this is where you can add a website URL, standard page, product page, blog post, font, file, or an email. Then we have the spacing. So click on the spacing and it will allow you to select the top margin and the bottom margin for the button. So you can see the button has been added. If I want to add a code to the website, then I will just drag and drop the embed code option. And here I can add a custom HTML. The position, I'm going to take it to the center. And now I can add any of the HTML right here and embed anything I want on my website. If you want to change the image that you have within your theme, you're going to click on the image, click on added image or replace. We can also again add a link to the image, align it or change the spacing. We can also navigate between the pages of the website from the top menu right here. And we can change this menu in our header. If you want to add videos from YouTube, then you can go for the YouTube option right here. Then we also have our cookies, OPT out, flash, files that we can add, surveys and contact form. So if you have a contact page like this, you can go to the contact right here and we can create a contact form. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the contact form, drag it and drop it right here. And the contact page uh, will be added. So this is actually a form that we have added. Now click on it and I can, of course, customize this style completely. And of course, if you want to add a new section, then you can just drag and drop and add a new section to your website. But this is how you will customize your theme on Weebly. Of course, you will add the text according to you. I showed you all of the different features and tools that we are getting with Weebly. If you want to add your gallery, you can add with this option right here and slideshow uh, from here. Once you're done with the editing, you can get a preview, desktop or a mobile right here. This is a mobile view of the website. Once you're done, you can find the publish option right here. Click on publish and select the domain name. Click on publish again and your website will be published. We can do this for free using Weebly. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.